Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the orbit, we'll speak about the bones involved and the contents. So the orbit is a four-sided pyramidal cavity and it contains the eye. There are seven bones that form the orbit. The mnemonic goes, female lions eat more zebras per session. So F is for frontal bone, L is for lacrimal, E for ethmoid, M for maxillary, Z for zygomatic, P for palatine, and S for sphenoid. Starting with the frontal bone, it is right here. So it covers the top portion of the orbit. Then you've got the sphenoid bone, which is right in the center of the orbit. You've got the lacrimal, which is on the medial side of the orbit, which contains your lacrimal duct and gland, where you get your tears from. Then you've got the ethmoid bone, which is in between the sphenoid and the lacrimal bone. You've got the maxilla, which is on the inferior surface of the orbit. And then you've got the zygomatic bone, which takes over the lateral aspect of the orbit. Now that we are done with the bones, let's speak about the openings. So you've got five openings that you need to know about. One, the supraorbital foramen. Through it passes the supraorbital nerve, which is a branch of B1 of the trigeminal nerve. Then you've got the infraorbital foramen, through which passes the infraorbital nerve, which is a branch of B2 of the trigeminal nerve. Then you've got the superior orbital fissure. I've spoken about this in my last video. Through it passes uh, the cranial nerves 3, 4, 6 and V1 of the trigeminal nerve. The inferior orbital fissure has branches of the maxillary nerve and the infraorbital artery and vein. And then finally, you've got the last opening, which is the optic canal, through which passes cranial nerve 2, which is the optic nerve, along with the ophthalmic artery. There's also the anterior and posterior ethmoidal foramina, through which passes the anterior and the posterior ethmoidal artery, vein and nerve, respectively. You also have a zygomatic orbital foramen which is of two types you have a zygomatico temporal and a zygomatico facial through which passes the zygomatico temporal and zygomatico facial nerves respectively okay now the contents so you've got the orbital and the retrobulbar fascia you've got the extraocular muscles of the eye six of those you've got cranial nerves two three four five and six you've got blood vessels the lacrimal gland with its sac the lacrimal duct you've got the eyelids the ligaments palpebral and suspensory ligaments you've got the ciliary ganglion and short ciliary nerves as well okay guys that is it for this video i'll see you in the next one take care bye